What's up, my friend? Tudo I'll be reacting to Five US States with the Deadliest Wildlife. Okay, this will be a crazy one. But before I go into that, can I ask you for one thing? If you can leave a like, thank you so much, my friend. This is the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, well, in that case, forget about it. You make my day. Have that in consideration. Now, link for the original video in my description. You guys end up recommending this one a lot. Let's play it. The USA is one of the deadliest countries in the world when it comes to wildlife, yeah. as it's home to many creatures that can seriously injure or even kill you. Of I'm course, aware. some states are more dangerous than others. And in today's video, I will be going through some of the deadliest. I will be judging the states on the number of fatal animal attacks from 1999 to 2019. And there okay. are five states that stand out. The number of fatal you know what, my friends? I hope a couple of states that I really like do not appear on this list. I really do. Not that, of course, I would still visit them, but uh, Texas, please do, do, do not appear on this list. I love Texas. Do not appear here. Second, Colorado. I really love Colorado. Do not appear here, please. Montana, please no. I, I have a feeling Montana will appear. Um, California. Wait, Texas and California, Andre? Are you crazy? No, I also think California is beautiful. Florida. Florida, Florida is beautiful. Can we agree with that? I hope those two stay... Okay, you guys get the point, right? I hope they are uh, not in the top five wildest... Uh, not wildest, deadliest wildfire. Wildlife. Wildfire. Maybe also wildfire. I'm not sure. Fatal animal attacks varies greatly from state to state, and this is due to a wide variety of factors. Okay, some see states have a much larger population than others, and some have a relatively small population of deadly animals. In the US, since the year 1970, the most dangerous wild animals have been brown bears, sharks, snakes, black bears and alligators. Oh, These animals only tell half of the story, as a large number of Americans are killed by pets and livestock, and many are nah. taken by insects. Uh, by insects? I believe it. I mean, th those guys are crazy. By dogs? No, no, no. Fake news. No chance. If a state has the deadly combination of a large population of humans and a large population of dangerous animals, it's more than likely that they'll be on this list. Without further ado, we can take a look at our first state, and that state is Tennessee. Tennessee Ooh. has more caves than any other state, and it's home to the country's largest oh, underground that's beautiful. lake. Tennessee is home to quite a few dangerous animals, okay. and some of these animals are venomous. You can find potentially dangerous spiders such as the black widows and the brown recluse, and it's yeah. also home to some venomous snakes such as the copperhead, the cottonmouth, the timber rattlesnake, and the pygmy rattlesnake. Yeah, Tennessee, I don't think I'm going to visit you guys soon. No, I'm joking. I would still love to visit Tennessee. Um, by, the, by the way, anyone watching this lives in Tennessee? Leave me a comment uh, and uh, tell me that. Uh, I never saw anything like that. Because that, be, that would make me feel a bit better. Ah, oh, the Black Widow. Ooh. And the brown recluse, and it's also home to some venomous snakes such as the copperhead, the cotton mouth, the timber rattlesnake, and the pygmy rattlesnake. The I venom from these animals may not kill you directly, but you can die if you go into anaphylactic shock. Tennessee is also home to some large predators, with some of the most iconic predators being black bears and cougars. These animals are of course very dangerous, but fatal attacks on humans are relatively Do you guys think is worse to what do you guys think is, is, is worst? To find a black bear or a cougar? That's a great question, right? I think to find a cougar is a bit worse because they may go for, for your neck. With a bear, you can outrun, outrun him, I believe it. No, that's stupid, I know, I'm joking. I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty fast. No, no I'm not. <laughs> Let's continue rare. In Tennessee, you'll also have to look out for large herbivores, as these animals can turn deadly in certain circumstances. Yeah. Deer and wild boar can kill people if they're startled, and they can also kill people in traffic collisions. As mm. well as this, many people in Tennessee are killed by pets and livestock, 
and from 1999 to 2019, 170 people lost their lives due to animal attacks in Tennessee. This That's puts Tennessee to. at number 5, and we won't have to travel far for our next state. North Carolina borders Tennessee, and because of this it shares a lot of its wildlife. North Carolina has a larger human population than Tennessee, but the two- North Carolina have as many, as many people as Portugal. I kind of love it. Two states are a similar size. This means that the people in North Carolina are more likely to come into contact with wild animals, and North Carolina has a few more dangerous species than Tennessee. North Carolina is home to a healthy oh. population of alligators, yeah. and these animals can be very dangerous, especially to young children. Although there have been a few or young Portuguese males. Few confirmed sightings. Alligators are very rare in Tennessee, so you're very unlikely to be attacked by one there. The people of North Carolina not only have to be wary of alligators, but they also have to be wary of ocean creatures. <laughs> Unlike Tennessee, North Carolina has coastal regions, and this means that there have been some shark attacks over the years. Since 1935, there have been at least 70 unprovoked shark attacks off the coast of North Carolina, and this is a relatively large number compared to other coastal states. As well as this, it's also home to a few venomous snakes that can't be found in Tennessee, and this means that it's had a few more fatal animal attacks. From the years 1999 to 2019, 180 people lost their lives due to animal attacks in North Carolina, and this means that North Carolina is the fourth deadliest state. For our next Okay. Okay. Uh, North Carolina. Beautiful state. Um, let's continue. Next state, we will be heading south as we will be traveling to Florida. No! I'm sure that before many Florida seems so beautiful. Oh, so Florida have all the storms, uh, hurricanes, and stuff like that, and also one of the worst place for deadliest animals. No, no chance, no chance. Florida love you, but um, things are out of control. Any of you even clicked on this video, you knew that Florida was going to end up on this list. Florida has garnered the reputation of being a very crazy state, and its ecosystem is quite crazy too. As Florida has a humid tropical climate, it's home to quite a few animals that can't be found in any of the other states. Louisiana okay. and Florida have the largest alligator populations, and Florida is also home to the American crocodile. Since nine so I actually thought America did not have uh, crocodiles, but I'm wrong. You guys also have that. I, I thought it was just alligators. Okay, crocodiles are, uh, are uh, even crazier, right? In 1948, there have been around 450 alligator attacks in Florida, and around 30 of these attacks have been fatal. Florida is also surrounded okay. by a very vibrant marine ecosystem, and in this ecosystem you'll find many dangerous predators. Florida had the most unprovoked shark attacks in the US in 2023. By a larger margin. Look at that, Hawaii 8, New York 4. California chilling right there with two. Well, Texas at least does not have shark attacks. That was a joke, by the way. And Florida made big. Um, I should not explain. Never mind. Up 16 of the total 36 cases in the US. Florida is home to potentially dangerous mammals such as the Florida panther, but this cat panther. is extremely rare. As I've covered many times on the channel before, Florida is one of the worst affected areas when it comes to invasive species, and some of these species can be very dangerous. There are a large number of invasive snakes, and the world's deadliest crocodile has also been spotted in the Everglades. All of these factors lead to Florida being a relatively deadly state, and a lot of people in Florida live in close proximity to wild areas. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, look at those houses. And a lot of people- Yeah, you are, uh, no, if this is real, yeah, you are, you are just waiting to, to have a couple of alligators showing up and uh, ruining the party. No chance. I mean, this is what, a swamp with a bunch of... No, 
My friend, quick pause on this one. First of all, hope you are enjoying the video. If that's the case, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. But let me share with you one thing. I have a Patreon community where I put content almost every day, a lot of early assess videos. So if you want to get uh, them, go to my Patreon, link on my description. And this is, of course, a good way to support the channel. That said, let's continue with this one. And I hope you have fun. In Florida, live in close proximity to wild areas. Yeah. From 1999 to 2019, 247 people were killed by animals in Florida, and this means that Florida is the third deadliest state. For our next state, we will be heading oh. west, as we will be traveling to California. California, really? What the hell is going on in California? Oh. Maybe bears. Maybe. Because they have a pair on the flag. Yeah, uh, that, that's it for sure. California has the largest human population of all the 50 states. And as of 2023, there are around 40 million people living here. This makes up around 12% of the national population. And there are more people in California than there are in Canada. <laughs> California's large human population... Canada does not win one. <laughs> I love my Canada viewers. Population is one of the main reasons why it has so many fatal animal attacks, as its wildlife isn't as dangerous as some other states. Okay. A large number of people killed by animals in California are killed by dogs and livestock, but of course there are some dangerous wild animals out there. California is home to black bears and cougars, and it's also home to a large number of venomous desert animals. These animals can kill you in certain Ugh. circumstances. And of course, California is another coastal state. As California has such a large population, all these animal attacks add up. And from 1999 to 2019, 299 people were killed by animals in California. This Whoa. slots them in at number two. And to find the deadliest state in the US, we will be heading east. Okay, okay. Prediction for the number one. Montana. Yes, has to be Montana because of the buffaloes. Yeah. Wait, could be Alaska? No, but there, there is no one to kill. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no. The bears do. Yeah, bear, bear on bear, bear on bear crime. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, Montana. It's Montana. One hundred percent Montana. Or mine. Why mine? I don't know, mine tends to appear in all the top fives that I watch, so they did not appear on this one. Okay, but let's go in Montana. Texas has a very large human population, but it's still a relatively wild state. It's home to many wild open areas, and it's also home to a lot of livestock. Oh man, they get killed by the cows. Oh, Texas. Oh, come on, look at the horns. Yeah, this is they are asking for. There are around 12 million cattle in Texas, and these animals kill around 20 people each year in the US. Holy. This means that cattle kill more people than bears and sharks combined. Yeah. And it's one of the reasons why Texas is so high up on this list. Texas is home to a large number of venomous snakes, with many of these snakes being rattlesnakes. As well as this, Texas is also home to large predators, such as alligators, mountain lions, and bears. Texas is the largest of the lower 48 states, and it also has the largest deer population. It's home to around 5.5 million deer, and sometimes these deer can kill people. Some hunters are killed directly by deer, but deer can also cause fatalities on the road. Deer vehicle collisions lead to around 200 human deaths each year in the US. And this is part of the reason why Texas is such a deadly state. From 1999 <sighs> to 2019, 520 people were killed by animals in That's Texas. A big number. And this means that Texas is the deadliest state when it comes to wildlife in the US. You know what's crazy, my friends? I said five states that I did not want. And I, I swear to God, I, I did not pre-watch this. And uh, those five states, three end up appearing on this list, on uh, on the top five. Oh, what a disaster. I mean, I still think Texas is amazing. I still think Florida is amazing. I still think California is amazing. Uh, 
Uh, Tennessee, no, no, that, that that's out of the list already. Um, that said, I'm joking. Even Tennessee, I think, is is tremendous. Uh, did, did, did you guys saw the caves at the beginning? Ooh, that stop stuff. Uh, oh well, America. <laughs> so, if there are any other states that you feel should have made it into this video, then let me Montana. know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time. Goodbye. Hey, great video. I guess the reason Montana and stuff like that does not appear is because, uh, yeah, they don't have as much people as the other states, right? This was a really cool video. Do, do, do you guys agree with that? Well, if so, leave me a comment. It's always the best way to tell me and the great stuff. And that's it for today, my friends. Hope you end up enjoying this video. If that's the case, do not forget to leave a like. Also, consider to subscribe if you are new to my channel. And also, let me remember you about one thing. I have a Patreon community. I put videos there a bit earlier than I put on YouTube. So if you want to support me and have access to early content, go to my uh, Patreon. I will leave a link on my description. Take a look at that. You can also scan the QR code you'll be seeing here. And uh, that's it.